So JRuby is an implementation of the Ruby language running on the JVM. It gives you a few benefits by, by using uh, features of the JVM that you can't have on the regular Ruby implementation. Since you've reached, released a book, um, do you think the interest in JRuby has increased? Yes, definitely. The last six months have seen a lot of increase in it, but it's still steep. It's still going strong, and I think yeah, we're going to see even more interest in the next six months. I, I hope for a, it to peak around sometime next year. It seems to be going up all the time now. During your talk, I was present at your, your talk. You were very surprised at the amount of people that that put their hands that have actually used. Why is that? So. Um, yeah, I, I asked how many people have actually used JRuby on Rails, and this is a regular Rails crowd, and generally people uh, in the Rails crowd doesn't seem to, they do, doesn't seem to try JRuby on Rails unless they have a real need, at least that's what my, that's my experience from earlier conferences like this, but this year something seems to have changed, and since most of them hadn't actually heard about JRuby from a JRuby presentation, uh, they need to have actually looked this up, information up by themselves, so this shows that we managed to shift the attention of Rails developers towards JRuby 2, which is really great actually. It's an it's a important step in getting more adoption. Um, what inspired you to write a book? So, I wrote a lot of blog posts about JRuby and I started to feel, okay, this might be better collected in, in one place and at that point APRES asked me if I wanted to do a book about JRuby. I felt that the time was right because we started running Rails and we needed to get this information out how it actually works and uh, collect it in one place. So I, it was just the time was right and it needed doing and I felt that I could actually do it right. Do you think of maybe write another one in the future? What will it be about? So, um, Currently, um, I need to update the book because it's getting stale, a little bit stale already. Uh, things are moving so, fa so fast in both the Jimmy camp and the Rails camp, so lots of things need to be updated. Uh, that's probably going to happen uh, so that the new version of the book is going to be available sometime in the beginning of 2009. Uh, we are working on a JRuby book. Uh, several of the core developers are working on this with an um, undisclosed publisher. And I think after that, uh, I'm going to avoid book projects for a few years. It takes a significant amount of attention to, to write a book and you really, um, it really detracts from getting stuff done. So it's the same thing with conferences, actually. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, that's oh this is this is great fun since I've been part of the process from the beginning. Actually, we started talking seriously about going to Sweden just when I joined in the beginning of June last year, um, and that I was going to be part of it was kind of assumed since I'm the only Swede except for a guy called Hawken who lives in San Francisco. So that feels good, and I'm gonna be. I'm going to be leading the office together with a guy called Marcus, so this is going to be exploring a totally different new thing for me. I'm going to do stuff that I haven't done before, so it's, it's going to be really fun, exciting. I think that we can really give something back to Sweden. I think that the market there is open for a player like us, and, I think, uh, and I've heard this from existing consulting companies in Sweden that they feel that we are going to transform the market so it will be a better market for these consulting companies too. Which is great. Well, we wish you best of luck and thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much. That was Ola Bini and Anissa Felter from Portland, gotthingsdone.com.